So, um, I don't know how to say this, but I've made a little error. Or a big error, maybe. It's whatever size error you want to call it, because unfortunately, um, I should have listened to my own and your warnings. For in front of me, like, no dinosaurs. Not wild dinosaurs. Not my tamed dinosaurs. We're missing a few moss chopsers. And that is, um, that is, they, they died. They died. They, they're gone. They're gone. I wasn't sure. I logged in today and I was like, what's going on here? Where did they go? What are they doing? Like, I don't see my little moss chop family. Uh, well, uh, remember that there is a dinosaur that was roaming around behind our base the other day? Well, have a look at this. Have a look at this. Where do I, where do I even find this thing? Have a look at here. Look at this. Look at this. You see this? Um, Yeah. Your Mosso was killed by a Therizinosaur of level 45. Your uh, Mossy was killed by a Therizinosaur of level 45. And your Mama Chops was destroyed by a Therizinosaur of level 45. Or say, remember yesterday how I, we had that little death? No, yesterday, day before, we had our little death, death issues. <laughs> There's a lot of deaths here, right? Eh? Uh, anyways, yeah, they're gone. So rest in peace to the three of them. The only redeeming factor right this second is that thankfully Bubba Chops was living over here the whole time and Bubba Chops has survived. So we do have remnants of the Moss Chop squad, um, but it is purely in our little pink and blue friend here, uh, which, you know what? I am, I'm glad that there is somebody to carry on the lineage. Otherwise, I'd be absolutely devastated. But guys, welcome back. Welcome back to our Survival Ascended series. I just want to drop a massive thanks out to everybody out there. I've been trying extra hard this series to keep up with comments on each of your videos. And it just means the world to me. The abundance of positive comments in the comment sections. Thank you. It really has been making my day. I appreciate it so much. I appreciate it so much. And I appreciate you viewing every day. I have been having a lot of fun. And it seems like you guys are as well. So... Right on. Thank you so much for that. I really do appreciate it. Now, how are things going here? Well, not much has changed around base, but what has changed is I guess I've just been collecting a little bit of metal and expanding our little metal op operations. And I think it's time we head over to our outpost to go and well, reap the benefits. Let's go and see how much metal we've got sitting out there for us and um, bring, bring it on home, basically. Now, there is some unfortunate news, and I don't know what's causing it, but I have been crashing a lot today. Um, yeah, just around this area, around base, we've crashed a few times, four or five times now. I don't know if it's got to do with one of the mods I'm running. I don't know if it's got to do with some graphic settings that I'm running, but we're crashing. So I've, I've lost a bit of progress and then redone the progress and lost it and redone it. Um, it seems to, have, seems to have smoothed out a little bit by now. In fact... Hold on. I did pick up a really cool supply drop at one point, and I feel like I lost it. I, don't, I think I must have crashed after that, and I lost the... Dang it. We actually got some sweet stuff out of it. Uh, but anyways, let's have a peek inside. As you can see, we have two different stacks of metal here, but we have a good amount of metal, and that's a good thing. Uh, basically, I have introduced a stack mod to this world um, just to help us out with the grindiness. Um, I'm going to save the grindiness of my arc experience for something else a more vanilla completely vanilla experience that i'm hoping to get working on soon um yeah you just keep an eye out for that don't you worry in good news though we've got ourselves 630 metal oh in case you're wondering what a stack mod does and you're unfamiliar with how arc works basically just means we can carry bigger stack sizes and overall they're going to consume a smaller amount of weight basically just lets us not be overweight every five seconds of this game and it lets me do big old holes of metal running like this so um yeah 600 metal that gives us quite an opportunity to do some pretty sweet stuff with let's get this stuff back to base oh yes on a side note i noticed that for whatever reason that alpha t-rex is no longer around here uh neither are a lot of the other t-rexes and allosauruses I'm wondering if the world ran a bit of a dino wipe on one of my crashes or something because basically every dinosaur around right now is just different to what was here beforehand. Yeah, interesting. Interesting development, um, which maybe it's a good thing because we, we might actually keep our base intact for a little bit longer before I find something a little bit more permanent and a little bit more durable. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm wondering if it coincided with my RG adventure the other day, hence why there were so little dinosaurs out there in the wild when we were flying all the way across the map up to the north end of the, the, the shorelines. Um, it, it would make sense. It would make a lot of sense, actually. So that might explain that little thing. Uh, but yeah. Oops, see, it wasn't meant to dismount you. Come back here, please. Um, 
Okay, wasn't meant to do that either. Hmm. RJ. Come on, buddy. I need you, uh... I need you down here. I gotta get that metal off your back, my dude. Come on. All right. Good, RJ. Good, RJ. Fantastic. So, 600 metal. We got a few reefs. That's gonna weigh me down because that is hard-earned stone before I added the little stack of mud. Um, I had to run a mine wipe tonic just to reset everything due to that as well. Um, I just did a little bit of admin-y type of stuff. But in good news, we are stacked to the brim with metal now. So what are we going to do with it? You might be wondering. Well, for one, we're going to get some ammunition going, um, which hopefully we can get a nice stack. <laughs> oh, it's not enough. That's not a lot, but we may as well get crafting it anyways. Another long neck rifle. We're going to replace our old one, of course. Um, and I've been contemplating adding an upgrade station mod to our world here. Um, purely because it's so much fun to use and I do like using it for upgrading our tools and stuff. But um, from what I've seen, supply drops in Ark Ascended are amazing. So it might just not be worth doing it um, because we can find some pretty awesome loot out there as it is. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit torn on what to do there. I'm going to just let things go for the time being though. Uh, what I want to get doing though is turning these tranks, sorry, these, these darts into tranks. I want to turn them into tranquilizer darts. The problem is tranquilizer darts are, well, they're really expensive and they use a lot of narcotics. Thankfully, I've got a lot of spoiled meat ready to turn into narcotics, um, but we don't have the berries. We don't have the berries. So I think it's about time we do something we, I guess, have been kind of sleeping on lately, and that is take out one of my herbivores and um, actually go and collect some. So let's do exactly that. One of the other, th oh, not again. Nope, okay, no, oh, oh. no, we crashed. This is the exact, I, I, I crashed here the other, earlier on while I was collecting berries as well. Are you kidding me? All right, um, I'll be back. <laughs> well, I think we've worked it out. Uh, it wasn't a quick process. It's been about 20, 30 minutes since I last left you guys. Um, but for now, we are not crashing when I smash trees and bushes, which is good. I uninstalled, reinstalled the stack mod and a bunch of other mods didn't fix nothing. Uh, I just had to verify it, some files and it seems to have done the trick. Um, I've been looking at this guy for a little while and at first I was considering taming it just so we could have an infinite source of poop. I know it sounds a little bit gross, but it is a very valuable thing to have. And then I realized he's got a little, <laughs> little baby following him along. So like, we got, we, got, we got some options here. Do I tame this one and, you know, get the baby as well? Or do I kill mama and take the baby? It's an absolutely brutal, <laughs> it's a brutal thing to even discuss. Uh, but to be honest, I'm kind of considering just, just, we're taking the humane approach here. I'm not much of a, I'm not a, I'm not a mean guy. You know what I mean? I, 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 I feel terrible. I would feel terrible to do that. So, um, maybe we just go old school here. Uh, maybe I see if I can grab the resources for a club and maybe if we're lucky, I could just like, you know, just, just whack him over the head a few times and, um, I've already got the club. All right, cool. Uh, and then, you know, we just end up with both of them and then we don't have to separate the two of them. I honestly would feel terrible to like do the alternative. So you don't have any fiber on you. Okay, I'll go and pick up 15 by myself then. That's fine. It'll take me two seconds to do that. Um, and I'm just going to beat the Fiomia with the club. I know it sounds horrific, but I think this is the more humane approach it, it sounds absolutely savage i i know this i know this i just don't want to separate the baby from its mama okay i'm hoping that didn't work did it oh no it did oh wait what am i doing here got the club oh no oh no we're good we're good i thought maybe we had this little oh oh fiomi is kind of fight back now what okay that's interesting i wasn't expecting that that caught me off guard it was not how much door i'm dealing doing this so i'm just gonna keep on wailing old, old mama here i feel terrible man i feel absolutely horrific and this is because i lost all my tranks the other day all my all my tranquilizing arrows um narcotic arrows but whatever they're called doesn't matter doesn't matter we've got it you just need to sit tight don't wander off i got you i promise i promise i've got you uh how many berries is my mama gonna need here 25 of them great and uh, I guess this is going to help us out in the long run because it's going to allow us to set up a farm and then we can get veggies. And we're going to need vegetables eventually. So, 
yeah I, it, it's it's for the greater good here we need to do this assuming fiomi is still work the way they used to that is because i don't know if they've been patched or changed or anything like that um but fingers crossed that nothing has changed in that department all right tricep how are we doing over here let's no oh, i keep on selecting the wrong options uh but a good news we've got 300 narco berries i want more though i need a lot more than that so I'm going to keep on smacking some of these bushes up while I wait for my Fiomia. And then we can go and craft an absolute truckload of Naka. Oh, don't tell me we've done it again. We've, we've crashed again. We've crashed again. We've crashed again. All right. I guess I didn't solve the problem. All right. I might have sorted out our problems. Uh, a quick little computer reboot. May, might have been all we needed all along. And I probably should have just started with that in the first place. But uh, it's running smoothly now. My Fiomia is nearly completely tamed up. And we are about to have us a beautiful, vibrant, red Fiomia. Where is your child, Fiomia? Where is your child? I already tamed you for this little beautiful dude beneath you. Hey. <laughs> hey, you're going to join us too, right? You better believe it, little Bubba Fiomia. All right, the both of you. Follow me back home. And uh, in good news, we've got us a nice little supply of berries. That's hopefully going to last us at least a tiny little while. Um, <laughs> poor little baby Fiomi is struggling to keep up. Um, but let's... Uh, look, I'll just, I'll just let you guys follow me. You can all kind of... Oh, my little dude. Are you coming or what? Come on. Come on. Keep up, little guy. Keep up, little guy. Surely, if I just run on home, that will both... I'll all make it home eventually, right? I, I gotta remember to feed it. I gotta remember to feed it. It's one of my one of my major criticisms I get from you guys in the comments is that I don't feed my dinosaurs. And I would say it's a worthy one. I'd say it's a worthy one. I definitely deserve that. Um, so, yep, the little guy's still cruising down the beach. Look at him. Baywatch style, baby. Who's never wanted to watch a little fight <laughs> right down the beach in slow motion? All righties. So let's just pump them full of a bunch of these red berries. Um, why not? I don't plan to do anything with them right this second. Maybe I should keep them and then I could use them for some um, healing brews when the time comes. But hey, look, at the end of the day, we're going to get plenty full amounts of berries anyway. So it's not really the end of the world. Okay, so uh, spoiled meat, 141 right here. We've got another 57 right here. That is enough for 200 narcotics. Fantastic. Oh, wait, what? Did I not relearn the narcotic? Oh, there we go. Okay. Hey, all right. Now we're talking 100. And you know what? Let's just split the stack in half. And then we can smack out to about 200 at the same time. Woohoo! Nice. Okay, cool. Fantastic. Lovely. Great. Amazing. Little baby. What are you doing over there? Did you not learn any lessons from earlier? The Therizinosaurs out here in the jungle are not friendly. They will tear you to pieces. Shreds. They will annihilate you. Come back around here, okay? Let's... <laughs> Who would have thought the part that's not meant to be the dino pen is the safer place than the actual half-fenced-off dino pen? Now, can I imprint you by any chance? Uh, once care in 18 minutes, you're going to be fully grown by then. Um, I guess the rates are a little bit... I haven't adjusted any of the breeding rates, by the way. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I guess that's just the way... That's just the way it goes. That's just the way it is, I suppose. Now, I've got to level up my own sleeve. Let's go and drop that in. And let's have a look and see what we have managed to unlock. Um, we can actually get us a beaver now if we want to collect some wood. So that's nice. I was literally getting excited about the thought of taming up a mantis. We could use that mantis to harvest pretty much anything we want. And then I realized mantis is a scorched earth creature. So we don't have access to them just yet, which is really disappointing. Um, yeah, it is what it is. What can you really do about that? I think we're getting really close to an Allosaurus saddle as well. And I think... Actually, what level am I now? We're 66. The Allo comes at 67. That's the next one we get. <gasps> okay, how can I fast track that? Um, let's see what I can craft up. Other than the narcotics we got in here. There's probably something sweet I can do with these. Uh, so I was just having a play with some things. And I, I, I thought that I hadn't crafted my long, long neck rifle yet because i'm an absolute dummy uh, i couldn't remember if that happened before a crash or after a crash because i'd had to do it a few times and um well i ended up crafting a second one we now have two of them i do not need two of them uh but we ended up getting enough experience to level up <laughs> so we are now level 67 i can go and drop this in melee damage and we can unlock ourselves the didn't i just learn this why can't i learn this oh i don't have enough i got enough engrams what do you mean i don't know what's going on there Anyways, uh, can I get an Allosaurus saddle? We can. For whatever reason, though, it's not letting me learn this. 
that's bizarre um wow okay interesting all right i sorted the issue it turns out i just needed to learn gunpowder again by hand uh yeah i had to reset all my engrams i'm not sure if i mentioned that earlier but now that we can get our hands on an allosaurus saddle let's try and craft one up what happened to all of my hide i guess i spent it all on something so we're gonna go and collect some more who's gonna help me with that my rg of course we don't even need that much and if i get lucky over here hmm are you the guy to help me with this i actually don't know how good you will be but there's a few trikes around those guys can hook us up pretty good also another beaver dam okay that's good that's what i want to be seeing a beaver dam oh hold on oh oh, oh hold on oh, oh. okay yeah hitting these guys in the head obviously doesn't deal a lot of damage we're gonna get behind them and surprise stack them, baby um baby triceratops you might want to get out of the way dude because i don't want to hurt you also you better not little pega mass stacks do not take my rifle ammo give that back to me right this second little duties hey oi 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 okay wow that took a little bit of that took a little bit of grinding he stole he stole my rifle ammo you know how expensive that stuff is you just think you can cruise in and take it away from me like that um oh we got a whole little army of little dudes right here great good the more the merrier i need all their hide there's a few there's three dialos um we've also got a baby oh we've upset the other track all right all right let's um <laughs> i'm losing track of who's even out here right now all right dude can you okay that's one dialo down um i don't even know who's i don't even know where we're at we've got little baby triceratops running away i just saw him in the distance as well at least we're getting some levels into my rg by doing this uh i'm just trying to not harvest any of these guys in the process here that's another triceratops down you bugger what are you doing no get off of him get off of him he's mine to harvest all right fine i'll do it with my own two hands then come in yeah you're wrecked all right dude I, I don't want you harvesting i don't know if my rg is gonna try and get in there but i'm hoping he's not okay don't know what's going on here that's bizarre why can't i harvest you all right we can do it with a pike but not with our hatchet uh there's another body over here 27 more hide from that follow me rg follow me um the original trike i killed has disappeared and i guess they both did all right well we did not get what we wanted out of that unfortunately but we did end up with 93 just a little bit more to go mate i think you're next friend well i, I shouldn't be calling you friend because it would be absolutely cruel to call you that and then come and do what i'm currently doing to you also what is with your little green patches down here on the bottom of your back what's with the big blue one on okay what's going on that's that's not normal is this a bug with my computer or is this a bug in the game um because this guy here's got <laughs> he's showing some uh he's breaking the immersion a little bit he's just a regular brontosaurus i don't know what's going on anyways uh we'll just pretend he doesn't have random little rainbow flakes flaking off his back and with a few more hits i said a few more hits with a few more hits okay this guy just keeps going all right oh there we go we got him all right nice now show me the goods baby show me the goods 30 60 90 100 110 140 160 200 oh my goodness you are an absolute champion did he drop a little bag i should have checked beforehand doesn't look like he dropped any loot uh dude that's it we got all the hide that we need fantastic well um let me grab myself a sip of water because i am rather thirsty and i keep missing i keep missing it it was so obvious when you were thirsty and hungry in old ark um that now i i, I don't know it's it's less obvious and i keep missing the point but let's go uh how much 390 hide we ended up with and we got ourselves an allosaurus saddle nice okay How's my narcotics coming along, by the way? 82 and another 80. We got leftover berries as well. Um, we got to get some meat to spoil. All right, I'm going to spoil this stack. Um, yep, split it. Nope, split it all. Bam. Okay, that's going to hook us up with a bit of meat. Um, I harvested a ton just then myself. But have you got any on you? Mm, you do, but it's going to take some time to spoil. Unless... This is how we get bulk meat, all right? That's going to spoil in about a minute. Drag that pile onto... No, they're sitting separately. Ah, well, it is what it is. All right, well, our meat warriors are all sorted now. I think it's time we saddle up this bad boy and see what he's finally capable of. 
He's been sitting. Oh, man, you're the one with all the meat. Except this kind of just passed. Spo oh, wait, you got 14 ready to spoil. All right, good. At least we got a little bit sorted. And unfortunately for this parasaur, he has just shown up at the wrong time. Boy, all right, 130 damage. Not bad. And we haven't even put any levels into this guy yet. <laughs> all right let's go let's take this guy for a spin and see what he can do um what i probably should do is bring oh man um wait what happened to my rifle ammo i'm really hoping that my rifle ammo is over here on my rg uh which it is okay good 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 and what i was thinking real quick here was i should probably bring with me there's a few things I should probably bring with me. Just in case we run into another Allosaurus, uh, we could get us a little bit of a pack of these guys and we can, I don't know, start absolutely tearing things up a little bit. It's not something we've really done much of, uh, but it'd be an absolutely fantastic thing to do. So I need a little bit of thatch. Uh, yeah, thatch, flint. Don't have a lot of that, but we got some. All right, let's get 100 arrows and then I'll slowly turn them into tranks. I also want to get a grapple because we lost ours. Where did it go? Uh, metal ingots and cementing paste. Bam and bam. Craft up one of those too. All right. And I'm just going to carry this around with us. Let it craft up as we go. And we're going to try not to let our Allosaurus die in the process. Uh, man, I'm so slow when we're walking around like this. All right. Let's go. Let's go on an adventure. Is this something I just killed? Oh, yeah. Poor Parasaur. Actually, I have an idea of where I could take this adventure. Just over here. Up and over this kind of like canyon here. Pretty much exactly where we tamed up our Allosaurus. Oh, this guy's stamina sucks, by the way. Um, okay, stamina. That's going to be this guy's problem, apparently. Not the end of the world, but like not the idealist. I got nine levels, though, so we can kind of level that up a little bit. Um, but then again, I guess I am kind of like mowing into every dinosaur I find. So I shouldn't be too surprised about the, uh, the stamina problem. All right, let's let that charge up. And the reason I'm heading up here, I should probably mention, is I've spotted a few Therizinosaurs. And I would love to get my hands on a Therizinosaur soon. I'm technically not probably ready to. Like, I shouldn't really be looking for one just yet. But it would be amazing for metal harvesting, thatch harvesting, fiber harvesting, and uh, allowing us to really expand our base of operations, which would be an absolutely amazing thing to do right this second. But yeah, this guy's stamina is atrocious. My guy. Um, I we, we can only run for like five meters before he runs out of stamina. And I guess that's probably just stop and let him do exactly that we got two more levels up our sleeve though so that's quite nice and i'm gonna put these to, uh these two into i'm gonna put one into crafting skill uh that way once we do get some nice blueprints we can craft up some pretty sweet stuff some you know better weapons better armor that sort of stuff now what did we manage to get oh speaking of therizinosaurs we just got the saddle for it so if not today a fairy tomorrow may be an absolute amazing thing for us to find which has got me wondering now should i instead focus on getting a farm set up because if i can get a farm set up oh these poor little baby tracks i'm so sorry little dudes i know i shouldn't be doing this i am an atrocious human being but i've already saved one baby today uh one baby a day is, is all i can fathom <laughs> All right, Triceratops, my dude. I know I'm, I'm biting you on the head. It's not dealing a lot of damage, but I'm trying to get around you. You're just not letting me. We can get this over and done with really quickly if you just let me. Good Triceratops. Good Triceratops. Well done, buddy. Well done. Um, let's get some more stamina up our sleeve as well. And uh, I guess we're going to head this direction because it's it's looking relatively safe over there. We may as well may as well venture down that direction but yeah now that we've got the fiomia i'm very much considering setting up a farm we can use that to get veggies we can use that to get kibble we can use that to tame dinosaurs faster and the therizinosaur just so happens to be one of the dinosaurs that really benefits from kibble like like greatly benefits from kibble um i'll see what i find up here and if i find a whole lot of nothing then i may turn back around oh okay I guess I kind of forgot that this leads into the swamp. And the swamp is, uh... It's an interesting place that we might not quite be ready for. Um... 
<laughs> yeah. I don't like the swamp very much. I don't like the swamp at all. And I don't think my Allosaurus is ready to traverse it. Ooh, speaking of farming, I mean, it's not quite farming, farming, but a Diplodocus egg. I'm going to take it. And Big Diplo over there is probably going to be a little bit upset about that. So we are going to have to fight the little guy and he's got a little baby. Oh, she's got a baby. Um, uh, What did I say earlier that we can only save one baby a day? I might be able to rescue two babies a day. I mean, a little Diplo, why not? This guy will be really good for harvesting uh, a good amount of berries for us. And look at that little baby. It's a beautiful little guy. I think I'm going to have to do it. Um, I don't know how it's going to follow me back to base. It's going to take a little bit of time, but hey, you know what? I mean, I'm too impatient to tame one of these guys properly. Why not? Uh, <laughs> why not just steal a little baby? Come with me, little dude. You're a level, only a level 15, but I mean... Could be worse. Um, very slow turning circle. But now that I've sorted that out, let's take down Big Mama Diplo, which I was hoping to pull a little bit more prime meat from, but uh, I guess eight pieces is all we're going to get. All right, follow me, little Diplo. This is going to be a slow old trek, but we'll get you back to base. You can grow up there. And uh, yeah, you can, you can, you're going to come in real handy, I think. I don't know. It's been a while since I've tamed one of these guys. All right. We're uh, we're really starting to collect a good old collection of dinosaurs here, aren't we? In fact, it took me so long to get back to base that the little baby uh, ended up growing into quite a big old thing. Cool. Well, I got to get dropped some berries in its inventory uh, just to get it all nice and, well, nice and big, I suppose. Here you go, my little juvenile Diplo. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be able to care for you. You're just going to mature. i got to work out the balance of those rates. And our baby Fiomia is now fully grown as well. Would you look at that? I guess what I should do is test this out. Because usually what you can do with Fiomias, in case you don't know, um, is pump a lot of stim berries into them. And usually they do a lot of poops. Um, it's definitely... Wait a second. Wait, hold on. You drop the stim berries in to make them hungry. Yeah, there we go. And then they eat the berries to fill themselves up. And then they do a lot of poops. But have a look at the poop. Like, it, it, it like squashes on the floor. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, all right. Sweet, 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 sweet. All right, let's go and um, pick it all up. Wow, okay. Uh, pick it up a bunch of poop. Lovely. Fantastic. Everybody loves doing that. And let's get ourselves a bit of a farm set up. Uh, so I'm going to grab some thatch, grab the wood off my dude here. We have uh, got all this poop now as well. We're going to have to learn a feeding trough. We're going to have to learn some crop plots. Um, and I'm just hoping that we've got everything we need to craft this stuff up in our smithy. Um, yeah, that's 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 going to be the, 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 the catch here. So stone wood. I might need some stone. No, we've got stone fiber thatch and wood hey all right we can get three of them well i want a four at an absolute minimum so to get a fourth one i th what are we missing stone there we go fantastic all right we got that sorted um ideally i would want some more stone foundations as well and thankfully i believe i've got one or two of them in here we've got one of them in here okay that's fine. That, that, that's, that's at least a start. Uh, and then I've got to work out where we're actually going to place these things down. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to go harvesting some stone. Not the end of the world. We got our hatchet back, so that'll speed up operations just a little bit. All right, let me go grab some stone. What better of a location than just across the river? And speaking of, you know, resource collection, we are a little bit low on wood right now. And there just so happens to be a beaver dam right here. So, uh... What better of an opportunity than to rob it blind? Oh, okay. I actually can't carry all of this. Oh, it doesn't work with the stack mod. It's full weight. Makes sense. It doesn't make sense. I don't know if it makes sense. Uh, regardless, though, <laughs> this guy's really heavy now. Uh, that's okay. We'll get it back to base. It's not the end of the world. I was kind of hoping I might find which beaver it belonged to. Because I can craft up a saddle for one of those now, too. And that would be awesome for... Whoa, wood collection. We wood collection while we wait and wait to find a therizinosaur. But yeah, I don't know. Um, it looks like maybe the mother abandoned the little beaver dam. And there's uh, there's none around. 
This is one of those times I am so grateful that I left a little hole in my roof. And we can just fly my guy straight inside. Dismount. Um, get stuck inside of him for a second, but not for too long. Grab everything off of him. Chuck it all in here. And uh, we are golden. So I need more of that. Need that. Need that. And that should get me... I was going to say, that should be pretty good for some foundations. So I think we're going to start pretty basic with this for the time being and then expand from there. Um, ideally, I would like to go like two crop plots for each vegetable. But I think since this is just our starter base and it's probably not going to be too permanent, um, we'll just keep it nice and simple. Just get one of each and then, well, I don't know, work out the rest after that. We're going to need uh, some pipes or not. Uh, water? stone water it's like how's this stuff work these days because i've heard yeah i've heard there's no pipes anymore so can you just place this wherever you like or something i'm actually not too sure but we'll, we'll learn in a second i suppose um we're gonna need a little bit more stone for one of those and one of those i guess and i think that pretty much is everything we're gonna need uh oh and of course the feeding uh, not the feeding trough compost bin i haven't learned the compost bin i thought i did but i didn't uh and that just requires the same as everything else and that's going to help turn our food our food our poop into fertilizer all right i guess uh all that's left now for us to do is to work out where we're going to place all this stuff let me get my diplo egg out of here because it's ridiculously heavy and uh all right so where are we going to place our little farm i could do it here ish like near our station but doesn't make sense to put near our industrial station maybe i'll go and put it over in this area like sort of behind the base but then kind of not i mean we've got all this room to expand we may as well kind of just i'm just gonna place it in here why not so it's gonna be a little bit detached from the base i don't even know how high to go with it but hmm yeah why not something like this um i should probably tear it up a little bit but that's fine We'll throw our crop plots down on top of that. Um, how's this stuff work now? So I can just place this? That's so weird. Um, and what's the, like, what's the point of this then? The stone intake for a wireless irrigation network provides an unlimited supply of water to nearby structures. What? Refills containers and provides refreshing drink requires a nearby water intake. So long story short, I can just place this. Oh, interesting. So I can place this here. And that's basically just going to collect water. And you saw the radius bubble. That was kind of showing... Here we go. That's how far that reaches. It just reaches our farm. And then I guess I just place this little water intake. A little tap. Kind of, yeah, uh, yeah, like that. Oop. Actually, that makes no sense. I think these are irrigated regardless. If I just pick this up, these got water in them. Yeah, they're irrigated. Oh, so that alone is going to irrigate this. And then what I can do with the tap is I can place it in my base if I want to. <laughs> and I can use it as like a little bit of a, uh, a water tap. I can fill my water bottles up with it. That's interesting. I can just place that there. And then... No, it's, not, it's too far away. Oh, I'm silly. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, look at the radius. I'm like well outside of the radius. All right. In that case, what I guess I could do is just place it like... Like here. And then I can... Yeah, I can get water from it. Not that I really need it because we've got a tap right here. Well, we've got the, we've got all the water in the world right here that I can just drink from if I really had to. But still pretty sweet. Okay, cool. So we've got that sorted. Now I need some berries. So one rocket carrot, one citronel, one savaroot, and the other one. <laughs> Long grass. I always forget one of them. I always forget one. Um, ooh actually you're hmm like i said a little earlier i like to go two of each so i think what i'm actually gonna i think i'm actually gonna adjust this a little bit hmm that's okay look if i got to expand this in the future i'll expand it in the future but now let's just do that let's just do that let's just do that and let's just do this nope not that and slowly but surely, all four of these are going to sprout us some nice, old, very luscious, very beautiful vegetables that we can use to craft um, stews, 
to help us in caves. We can we can do some scrap to a whole bunch of things. But most importantly, kibble. Kibble that we can feed to dinosaurs to tame them up super quick and give them extra little level buffs. And yeah, it's going to be fantastic. So awesome. Fantastic. Beautiful. Oh, and I guess while I'm at it, I should probably set us up with a little compost bin. Not too close to the base because, I mean, it's full of poop and we don't want that poop entering our base. Um, this structure will slowly convert thatch and poop into high quality... Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, cool. Can't put a lot in these, unfortunately. But uh, we're going to need some more thatch. That is for certain. May as well just go and pack some to pieces. 50 thatch per fertilizer. And, uh, right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, gotcha. That's going to be enough to create us two composts. And then I guess I'll just load these up with the leftover poo for the time being. And, uh, yeah, in no time, we're going to have a nice old lush farm. I know that the little farm we just made leaves a lot to be desired, but don't worry, it'll expand. It'll be more beautiful in the future, especially once we throw a greenhouse on top of it. It'll be just perfect. But guys, we're going to end this one right here. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for bearing with all the crashes. I don't know what the story there is, but it seems to have sorted itself out. So yippee. <laughs> guys, until next time, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day and I'll catch you next time.